Hey everybody, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours and we've come across an interesting site here we thought we'd share with you. We are standing in front of Pat Garrett's gravesite. Pat Garrett was the gentleman that killed Billy the Kid. And we thought we were just going to find his gravesite, but we actually found his wife's and several of his children's also. So let's take a look around. This right here is the Garrett family tombstone and uh, this entire area that I'm standing in are they're all Garrett's um, let's see right here is Pat Garrett's gravestone this is the man that killed Billy the kid and contrary to popular belief they were not friends they knew each other, but Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid were not friends. If um, uh, Pat Garrett uh, was Billy the Kid's friend, he wouldn't have taken the uh, job as, as sheriff in Lincoln County and pursued him. Right here is right here is the tombstone of Ida Garrett, which was one of Patrick Garrett's eight children. Here is Dudley Poe Garrett's gravestone. That's one of Pat Garrett's boys. Here's Apollinaria Garrett's gravestone. This was Pat Garrett's wife, second wife. His first wife died during childbirth and not long after Pat Garrett married her sister, which was Aplanaria. And here's Patrick Floyd Garrett Jr. That's Pat Garrett's son. And Anna G. Montgomery, one of Pat Garrett's daughters. And let's step back here. Here's Pauline J. Garrett. That's another one of Pat Garrett's children. We've got Oscar Lohman Garrett, another of Pat's children. And we have Jarvis P. Garrett, another one of Garrett's children. Very interesting sight. We are, we are here at the Masonic Cemetery in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And uh, Pat Garrett was uh, shot just outside of Las Cruces, New Mexico in 1908. believed to have been killed by a gentleman that he was leasing land to and they'd had a disagreement in the past over uh, the type of herd that the gentleman was keeping on the land. On December 19, 1880, Billy the Kid, Charlie Baudry, Tom Pickett, and Billy Wilson and Tom O'Falliard rode into Fort Sumner. Pat Garrett was laying there, laying in wait for him with, um, with his posse, and they mistaked O'Falliard for Billy the Kid. Uh, Pat Garrett's men opened fire and killed O'Falliard. Billy the Kid escaped unharmed with, uh, with his rest of his gang. Three days later, Pat Garrett and his posse cornered Billy the Kid and his companions near Stinking Springs. 
They killed one man and captured the others, including Billy the Kid, on April 15, 1881. Billy the Kid was sentenced to hang by Judge Warren, but he escaped 13 days later. Then on July 14th, Pat Garrett visited Fort Sumner to question a friend of Billy the Kid's about uh, asking him where he was. And um, his, uh, he, was he was told that he was staying with a mutual friend named Pedro Menard Pete Maxwell. Around midnight, Pat Garrett went to the house, snuck inside the house, and entered Maxwell's bedroom. Pat Garrett was hiding in the shadows of the bedroom when Billy the Kid entered and did not recognize him in the dark. Billy the Kid asked him repeatedly, Quien es? Quien es? Which is, who is it? Who is it? Pat Garrett replied by shooting him twice. The first shot hit Billy the Kid just above the heart and killed him. Interesting life that this man led. He was uh, the sheriff of Lincoln County at the time. He had held uh, several jobs, but uh, he's best known for being the man that killed Billy the Kid. Very nice cemetery, very peaceful place. And Pat Garrett's uh, family's plot is uh, underneath a, in, or in, under the shade of a large tree here, which you see right there. And if you decide to come here to see um, Pat Garrett's uh, gravesite. Uh, you'll enter through the center entrance, which I'll turn the camera around here. The center entrance is going to be right over here, and you'll pass the coming in. You'll go come straight down the main thoroughfare. You'll pass one side road, and when you get to this large tree here, oh, I'm about. Uh, maybe 20, 20 yards from that tree, 25 yards, something like that. And uh, so total from the entrance is probably 150 yards from the main entrance on the left side. So anyhow, it's a, a very, very peaceful place. All right, so we hope you enjoyed our little stop here at the uh, Garrett family gravesite. And um, if you like our videos, please hit the like button. If you really liked our videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get updates as to when our future videos are coming out. And uh, this is Greg and Janet from Las Cruces, New Mexico. And we'll see you later.